wife posted on Gone World. The length of my marriage to my wife is 15 years, and we have three children together. For the most part, life is pleasant for the two of us. The topic of her putting nude photographs on Reddit came up just a few weeks ago. She's a lovely lady who was hoping for some anonymous attention, and the thought of it appealed to me on a number of levels. Following that, we spoke about it a lot. So, after much consideration and argument, we came to the conclusion that we should go ahead and attempt it. During our meeting, we agreed on ground rules, and she pledged to be completely transparent and honest with me during the whole procedure. Great. She shared a number of the photographs on social media, and they soon gained popularity. The amount of messages and upvotes she received was in the hundreds, and we spent the most of the night speaking with other people and having a good time with each other. That night, we had some of the finest any of us had ever had in our whole lives. We were both at a crossroads at the time, and it was crucial. However, after she accepted a conversation invitation from a very attractive gentleman on the messaging site Kick, things went from bad to worse for her. Instantaneously, I could tell she was drawn to what he was saying in the pictures he was showing her because of what he was saying and doing in front of her. This didn't bother me since that was sort of the idea of the game after all. After a few days I questioned as to whether she was still in communication with anybody, to which she responded that she was not at all. I was disappointed. Okay, I reasoned, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Soon after that, when I came into our bathroom a few hours later and saw her taking a picture of her boobs, she became embarrassed and irritated, and she immediately created a story about how she was just taking the shot for herself and no one else. It was only later in the day that I brought it up, and she reiterated, her account of the events, which I thought was odd. Her refusal to back down when I urged her to be completely honest with me was admirable. It's not a huge problem at all, in my opinion. When I returned to my room at 10.00 p.m., I had had a usual night's sleep. Despite the fact that my wife had been up and speaking on kick at the time, she was absolutely ignorant that I had gotten out of bed at 2 a.m. even though I was awake. I feigned to be sleeping as I watched her send him photographs through text message while I was awake. As my heart sank to the floor, my chest squeezed even more. So, after considerable debate, I decided to give my wife another chance to tell me the truth about what had happened earlier. The next day, I inquired as to whether she had been texting anybody, to which she stated absolutely that she had not, and that she had no desire in conversing with anyone else. So I was really doubtful at this stage in the process. Later, while she was in the shower, I went through her phone and discovered that the discussion had taken place but that the majority of the text had been erased, and that none of the photographs she had sent the night before had shown on the screen. However, despite my reservations about informing her about it, I ultimately chose to tell her that night. Although she first said that she was not in communication with anybody, once I disclosed that I had gone through her phone and found missing messages, she finally confessed to supplying him with many photographs, one of which contained her face in breach of our agreement. It was said that she had been enchanted by the individual and that she had begun to have affections for him, and that he had duped her into giving him photographs. She said that she was ashamed and felt horrible about how she felt about him, and that as a consequence, she was unable to be entirely honest with me since it would be too hard for me to hear the truth. I feel it is acceptable for me to share some background information on our company and our members of staff. Throughout my marriage, trust difficulties have arose often. My wife has cheated on me once and I have overheard her chatting on the phone with ex-boyfriends on a number of other times. Whenever I confronted her, she started lying instantly until I was able to definitely verify what she had done, at which point she would break down and admit everything she had done. But it occurred years ago, and she has a reputation for being upfront and honest with me, which I have appreciated for a long time. When I looked at her, it was evident that we both matured significantly, and I felt confident in our ability to handle this situation and that I could put my trust in her to complete something like this. Perhaps I made a typing or data entry mistake. On that same night, she messaged the man on kick and told him that she was no longer able to communicate with him, following which she deactivated the program. She also deactivated her Reddit account, which she had been using for a long time. We discussed how she was concerned about our marriage and our family as a whole, and she told me that she would never do anything like this again. Whatever I do, I'm at a loss for what to do. Another point in favor of this is that it is not the first time anything like this has occurred, but it is not the first. Therefore, it goes without saying that I am crushed as a consequence of this. To be honest, I really want to bunker down and remain together for the sake of my children, 
and to become remote and alienated from the rest of the world in order to protect them. I'm now caught in a loveless marriage and am at a loss as to what I should do to get out. Story 2. Getting cheated on two cheating on someone. A girl who was my high school sweetheart and whom I considered to be the one had been in a relationship with me for six years when I decided to end it. Of course, there were some difficult moments, but when you're in love, nothing matters, and you can look beyond many unfavorable elements. You perform good deeds for people you care about, and you hope that they would either reward you or never hurt you in return, right? Well, I was successful in achieving all of my goals, and as a result I was discarded. I'm still not sure why I deserved it, but I believe that every woman on the face of the planet deserved to be crushed and destroyed in the same way that I was. I was always thinking about how I could get back at my ex and relive the period I had missed out on as a typical teenager, but I couldn't. I was having a difficult time finding myself out, and I caused a lot of damage to girls. That is until one particular girl came into my life and accepted me for who I am, in a way that no one else had. She made a significant difference in my life and helped me realize what kind of person I could be and what kind of spouse I could be. I didn't know what to do with it, since I'd never experienced anything like that before. She accepts me for who I am, loves me despite my shortcomings, and never criticizes me for who I am. I learned a valuable lesson from my own mistakes, which is one of the reasons I recommend that individuals avoid entering into a serious relationship until they are ready. I cheated and got myself into trouble, and I have no qualms about admitting it even to myself. In spite of the fact that I accepted responsibility for my conduct and recognized my self-serving objectives, she continues to love and respect me. In spite of the fact that I did an act that will haunt her for the rest of her life, I have no ill will towards her. She has just recently ended her connection with me, and I have no ill will against her in return. Every day is a death sentence for me because I am a hypocrite, and I really despise the fact that I am such a hypocrite. The things I did to this female were things I had previously done to other women. As a consequence of my discontent with my physical appearance, I experiencing intense feelings of rage, despair, and stress only that I may serve as an example to others, and that people who are intending to cheat or are thinking about cheating may consider terminating their relationship with a significant other in order to save time and energy as I have done. Always express your admiration for your significant other and remain by their side, since I would do everything to have that girl back in my life. This has resulted in my current state of being under therapy while also striving to find out who I am in the midst of this scenario. That is untrue, and I must accept full responsibility for the trauma I have experienced in the past. I will not use my traumatic experiences in the past to justify my present actions or inaction. It is important to remember that your mental health comes first, and that you should not rush into anything unless you are properly prepared for the benefit of anybody who reads this and is going through anything similar to what I am or who has been mistreated. It has been a pleasure having you here with me, and I wish you a lovely day. I appreciate you being patient with me.